brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST in this red rock. just received their first 2024 Lowrider ST in this red rock. We got some other brand new 2024s as well. We got a breakout on the back um, and then we have the standard which I'm going to show you all the colors so whatever is new well brand new colors for 2024 we're going to take a walk around after we do this quick little review on this bike and we'll be showing you guys all the brand new colors because that's what we have so far. We're going to wait for January to see if anything new is going to be coming out. Now, Lowrider ST, as you know, this bike is my favorite bike besides the Road Glide. This is, this is the bike I would have if I didn't have a Road Glide right now. It's, it's beautiful. Now, as far as the color, I made the video the other day talking about the new colors dropping. I still don't like this color. I really don't. I, I, it's like ketchup. It's like a ketchup red. Whoa. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad with the wheels. I was, the wheels actually, it's like a, it's a good combination color with the wheels. But I just think it's too much. Maybe, maybe this bike being two toned, black with this color would have kind of teamed it down a bit more, and it might have looked better. But one solid color. Um, so we're gonna have that red rock, which is like a nice earthy tone. If you guys have been through Arizona or any of those states over there that have those red rocks when you're out on those big open roads around Sedona. That's the color that this bike looks like. It's, it's like that, literally that red rock from Sedona. That's, that's what it is. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me, maybe it won't. Right now, I'm just not crazy about it. It's a nice color, I'm just not crazy about it. Now, the 2024 Low Rider ST, one of the most popular bikes on the Harley-Davidson platform. You got bags that are easily detachable from the back. You got that fairing that's gonna protect you from all that wind. You're gonna, gonna have LED lighting in the front. You're gonna have those 19 inch wheels, bronze colored wheels in the front. You're gonna have a five gallon gas tank, averaging around 47 miles per gallon. Now this bike is also gonna come equipped with the 117, giving you around 125 foot pounds of torque. The 117 guys, is a, it's, a, it's a kicker. It's at a factory. This bike stock is fast. Dropping a cam in this bike and putting a pipe on it will make it sound amazing. Give you a little bit more power. And it's something about the Milwaukee eights, once you change cams in it, it just, it becomes something else. I'm a huge, huge fan of the 117. Now sitting on this bike, me being more on the short end, 5'7", I'm able to flat foot this bike. I feel very comfortable on it. When it comes to the riding triangle, it feels really, really, really good. Now right here, you're gonna have this little small gauge. On there, you're gonna have your odometer, speedometer, uh, information on, fuel, turn signals. Everything is dropped in that one little screen right there, which is pretty cool, very minimalistic, uh, nice clean look. Good thing about this riser setup right here is that it's very easy to change out. And there's a lot of companies out there that are doing a lot of different riser setups for this bike right now. So you, there is a lot of options when it comes to customization. Obviously being a Harley Davidson, there's tons and tons and tons of companies out there that do amazing parts for these bikes, whether it being the Lowrider ST, whether it being the Road Glides back there, the Street Glides, Street Bobs, anything and everything. You're gonna find each and every part, every little piece that you think of, you'll find. And that's the plus thing about owning one of these bikes, is having the option to customize it, build it into your taste, adding just anything you want. Now, I feel very comfortable on here. Model shock on this bike as well feels great. Um, that's the number one thing that I never had to complain about the Lowrider or even the Lowrider ST is the suspension. It's actually from stock. I could say that a stock suspension that feels good is the model shock on this bike. Very well built. Feels great. Um, you can spend hours and hours, miles and miles on this bike, and I never had any type of back 
pain or anything like that. Riding triangle, like I said, roll nice and comfortable as you can see right here. Nice and perfect. That fairing does a great job keeping all the weight off of you. Harley Davidson does offer a taller screen. Um, I know Clockworks also does different screens now. You get them in different colors, um, taller screens as well. So um, going taller in here, I would definitely recommend going with a taller screen just to keep even more wind off of you. But the fairing itself does a great, great job at doing that. And it looks good. It's just a really nice designed fairing. Now, like I mentioned before, you're gonna have LED lighting in the front, LED lighting in the back. Turn signals are still not LEDs, but we'll, hold, we'll, we'll see what happens for 2025 now. Now, you're gonna have a dual exhaust system on here. Now, from factory, these bikes, guys, they, they're not gonna sound as great, but just like on any Harley, like you should do, change out the exhaust. Something nice that you like, special sound that you're gonna like. Um, I usually go with a two and a one on a bike like this. It'll look great, it'll sound great. If you look on this side, the cover is kept black. If you looked at the previous colors in the past years that are not, that when the, the whole bike is not vivid black, this always stays black. I'm not sure why they do that. I don't know if maybe it's just to blend everything, all the black down here or not. Um, but I, I would rather have this color match with whatever paint is on the bike. I think it, uh, it, it looks nicer, it looks cleaner. The wheel designs, nothing changed on there. As far as 2024 guys, nothing has changed drastically. It's just paint. That's what we're gonna get for the low rider seats. Who knows, we might get like a mid-year launch of something special going on. They always have something up their sleeves, but this is what you're gonna have. Um, you're gonna have this bike offered in this Red Rock this year. Red Rock, vivid black, and there is a gray. I just don't know if the gray is gonna be the billiard gray or not. It might be, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll get back to you guys on that one. Now the lean angle on this bike is gonna be 31.3 on both sides, which is pretty good. Um, you're also gonna have this bike coming from factory with anti-lock system. So you're gonna have ABS from factory on every bike. There is a traction control that you can get with this bike, but the bike obviously needs to get ordered from that, from the dealership. Um, but that's, that's an option. Um, for the most part, I think a lot of dealerships kind of order them with them right there. It just price, it raises the price a little more, but I'd rather have it. Now, when it comes to the controls, nothing has changed either. You're gonna have your same controls as always. You're gonna have your power button, off button out here, turn signals, traction control, so this one's gonna have it. Um, light switch on the left side, horn on the left side, left turn signal, and then this bike is also gonna come equipped with cruise control which is awesome. So this, this bike here is just a mini bagger, small frame bike that you can tour on around the States, feel great. You're gonna have capacity with your luggage in the back. You're gonna have wind coverage in the front, a five gallon gas tank, cruise control. What more do you want from there? These bags open really easy. Pull up the lever right there, that opens up. Uh, when it comes to the space, Inside, it's, it's a good amount of space. Not as much space as you're gonna find on the bags on the Rope Ladder Street Glide, a little less. <clears throat> Sorry. But it's a good amount of space. Now, I'll confirm the third color is Billiard Gray. So we're gonna have Billiard Gray, Red Rock, and Vivid Black, which is, if you want Vivid Black this year, guys, it's not free anymore. You're gonna have to pay $350 for Vivid Black. That's not gonna be the base color anymore. The base color now for every bike is gonna be Billiard gray, which is, looking at it in person, actually it looks nicer in person. Um, I kind of like it, I feel like it's a, a nice simple color that you're gonna be able to play around with a lot. Um, if you're that type of person that wants to add a different color accent on your bike, make it look special, perfect color for that. Um, that pretty much covers everything on this bike. We're not gonna dive deep into it too much. We'll leave that for uh, another video, but this is the Red Rock for 2024. If you guys are interested in this bike or any other bike, we still have some 2023 leftovers here. Obviously, the 2024s are rolling in. Stop by Bergen County, Arnold Davidson, and get yourself a bike. Now, um, what I want to do now is I want to go and show you guys all the brand new colors of what's in the house so far. All right, so right here you're gonna have the 2024 breakout. The only soft tail that comes with a 117 besides the Lowrider S and Lowrider ST. This 
color right here is a white onyx pearl. Comparing it to the uh, white, white sand pearl, this is like a bit brighter. This has more pearl flakes in it. Real beautiful color, I'll tell you that. It's really nice. And it really complements the chrome on the bike. It just all really comes all together. So this color, I, I really love. It's really nice. All right, so this is a standard in billiard gray. You know what, I gotta say something. It looks really good with the mag wheels like this and that color. It's, it's a really nice looking bike. Very minimalistic. I mean, we know that the standard is a very minimalistic bike, but the color, it's, I, I, I like the billiard gray. I like it. At first, in the pictures, I was like, I don't know how I feel about the billiard gray, but it's a nice, clean color. It's a nice, clean color, I'll tell you that. All right, so you're also gonna have the Lowrider ST and the billiard gray right here. We got the Lowrider ST, and then we got a Lowrider right there, which I'm gonna show you. Um, it's gonna come with the Harley Davidson logo right here in that bronze color to match the wheels. Looks really good. This, I like a lot. I, I really like a lot. This kind of, it reminds me of the Gunship Gray, just a lighter tone, more toned down. It's a really clean color. It's a color you can do a lot with. Like I was mentioning before, you can, this, this is the type of color that you're gonna be able to add any color accents with because it's such a plain, minimalistic color and, and it's gonna look really good. Really good thing. And then on this side, we got the Low Rider S, also in that billiard gray. Billiard gray might be that color this year, man. 